Uh, hi, this is Oliver Blair, and um, in this tutorial, I'm going to go through, uh, walk you through how to cut a section in SketchUp, and then how to get it to render uh, properly with Indigo. So before the latest version, you had to like literally cut the model, like actually delete the part that you didn't want to see. But with this one, it's a lot easier. So uh, we'll go through and explain now. So I think it's yeah, this icon up here called section plane or I think it's under tools section plane and that gives you this sort of plane that you can you can drag around that snaps onto um, faces and so I think I want to cut it um, sort of maybe this this way here but I want to cut it back from there I think so yeah so you just click where you want it to cut and then you can click on it and press M for move and you can like drag it in and out. So maybe I want to cut it somewhere like that. So, you, so now you can get this really nice sort of sectional perspective and it even will show the light quality as well. <coughs> um, so yeah, so there's a number of tools you can have with section planes, so you can right click on it and go, I uh, think you can go align view. Oh, it zoomed out quite far, but that sort of lines up perpendicular to the, the section plane, so it's like straight on, but that always looks a bit sort of default. But it, do, it does mean that you can sort of have um, like a no perspective, uh, like a true section as well. I think you can you can do that. Um, if you go up to I think camera and then orthographic or uh, parallel projection. <coughs> and with this version of Indigo you can um, you can render out in the, using this camera mode as well. So I think to do that you've got to click you've got to right click on the section plane and then there's this option here under skin to go enable section plane. And so what that means is that it'll, it'll actually use that as a as a cut when it renders out. So I think that should work if I just hit render. Hopefully it works. Ooh, it's a bit dark at the moment, but maybe it'll. There we go. So now you've got your your true orthographic parallel projection um, section. Which I mean looks pretty good, because I think maybe I wonder why it's black. Maybe that's because the back faces are black. I don't know. I might change that. I might try that in the styles and then edit, and then yeah, that color. Change it to red or something. And I'll see if it renders out that color. Alright, so it just cuts black, which is a shame, but oh well, whatever. So that's pretty cool, but what's cooler is when you have like a, a sectional perspective. I guess you could do ISOs and stuff now as well. If you want to have it like, like that. So lots of interesting views you can just cut now. And um, if I change it back up to perspective, press Z, and then I can alter the field of view. So I press Z for the zoom tool, and then I can change it to like 120 or something, make it real quite extreme perspective. Maybe something like that or like that. So you can even have like a close up detail here. So that's pretty cool. And then you can actually, you can rotate the section plane as well. So if I click on, select the section plane and then use the press Q for the uh, 
what's it called? The protractor rotate tool. And I, so I can like actually cut it sort of at really different interesting sort of ways. It starts to get real, really quite bizarre. But if you've got an interesting model, then you can cut it however you want, really. But yeah, so that's quite a um, simple, easy way to do it. You just... Uh, Use that section plane tool and then set that up where you want it to cut and then make sure you right click and go enable section plane under skin to go and it'll render it out however you set it up. You can even have sort of, you know, you could do plans or whatever as well, right? Like really weird plans. But, um, so, yeah, that's how you do it. Pretty, um, pretty easy these days. Cool. Cheers.